new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hey everyone, Jen Hillman here. And today I wanted to guide you through some really relaxing, meditative yoga stretches. So my friend Darlene is joining me today and she's already getting started. And Stella is with us as well. She is my relaxation guru. She just really knows how to chill. So we're going to learn from Stella today how to really relax. And I'll be your guide. So we've got Stella with us. And, you know, I am totally a cat person. I love cats so much. But I was wondering, what about you? Are you a cat person or a dog person? Or maybe a hamster person? I don't know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you prefer. And go ahead and favorite this video so you can come back and relax with me again and again. And we're going to get started just like Darlene here in a pose we call legs up the wall. Where you do actually, literally, put your legs up the wall. So find a place in your home where there's a little open wall space. And then you'll go ahead and lay onto your back. And it can be a little awkward to actually get your bum to the wall, but you just kind of scoot yourself in there a little at a time. So you work your way in as close as you can. And we'll just try and get your hips all the way to the wall. And then you lay all the way down. And if you need to push yourself a little closer, you can put your hands down to help you scoot in a little more. And just find a place where your legs can completely relax. And you can close your eyes here. And let your breath start to deepen. just start to settle in. So these next few minutes are just a chance for you to really start to relax. And so hopefully you found yourself in a quiet place. disturb you. So you can just start to reset your system. Practicing this style of yoga, it's called yin yoga. It's also called restorative yoga. This style is really designed to repattern your muscles and slow down your nervous system. And by staying in the same position for a long time, it starts to create new patterns in your body and allows you to release tension. And you may start to yawn here. That's a good sign that your body is starting to relax. And you may also have little twitches, or little adjustments in your body. So just try and relax and let it happen naturally. I also really enjoy this style of yoga because it's safe for anybody. 
as long as it's not causing you any pain, you can do any of the stretches in these videos. Having your legs up the wall is really beneficial. By elevating your feet above your heart, and you start to reset the flow of all the fluids in your body. So because of the pull of gravity, Certain fluids, our blood and our lymph fluid, can start to pool at our feet and collect around our ankles. And if your blood pressure is low or if you have any sort of heart conditions or if there's any trouble with your circulatory system, then it might be difficult for all of that blood and fluids to make it back towards your heart. But this pose, legs up the wall, naturally resets the flow of fluid in your body. See if you can tune in to the sensation those fluids draining down your legs and towards your hips and pelvis. slowly we're going to begin to come away from the wall. And everything we do in this video will be slow and mindful. So as you're ready, bend one knee at a time and start walking your feet down the wall until your feet come in, your knees come into your chest and your feet will be on the wall. And then wrap your arms around your knees and hug your knees into your chest. And slowly roll over onto one side so you can bring your feet back to the wall and just walk your feet around until you come onto your side. And then using your hands you can press yourself up and then we'll start to move away from the wall. So once you find yourself in a comfortable seat, bring the soles of your feet together and your knees open wide. And if this is uncomfortable for your hips, you can place some pillows or rolled up towels underneath your thighs to give you some support. But the idea is to let gravity slowly open your knees out to the sides. And then once you find that comfortable place, just slowly start to walk your hands forward to gently fold over your legs. And the 
this is really not meant to push you past where you're comfortable, but rather try to find your edge. So you want to feel the stretch, but you want to be able to relax into it. Close your eyes, and that's one way to tune out any distractions. And as you're really tuning in to the sensation of this stretch, let your breath So wherever is the most sensation, for me, it's in my outer hips, kind of my outer rotators here. So that's where you focus your attention, wherever you feel the most sensation, just focus your awareness there. And with each breath, Try and soften a little more. slowly start to come up, but again, nothing is rushed, everything is slow and gentle. Start walking your hands back towards your feet to help you press all the way back up to a comfortable seat. And keeping your legs just as they are, you're going to start to lay all the way back onto your back. Again, moving nice and easy. Just start to make your way down to the floor, lying all the way back. You can turn your palms up towards the ceiling and let your arms relax here. Another option would be to just comfortably bring your arms up overhead. So your elbows may be bent slightly. And this lets your chest stretch open as well as your hips. This is another place that you may notice a little twitch or a little adjustment. These are all good signs that your body is really letting go and relaxing. of restorative yoga is an invitation for your body to let go of the stress let go of the tension you 
you might try repeating the mantra, I am safe. It's okay to let go. I am safe. It's okay to let go. I am safe. It's okay to let go. Let your breath be slow and deep. Feel it rise in your belly and fall as you exhale. And by now, probably starting to feel very relaxed. Your nervous system has slowed down substantially. And whatever stress might be going on in your mind, just let it pass like fluffy white clouds passing through a clear blue sky. And all the problems and all your worries just for right now and let them pass away. So the only thing left is just you and your body and the sound of my voice. Soothing and relaxing. You are safe. Slowly as you're ready, extend both legs as you straighten your knees. And if your arms are up overhead, just bring them down by your side. And just take a moment to feel your hips more open than they have ever been. We're going to take a little twist to work into your spine. So slowly draw your right knee up towards your chest, nice and easy. It seems really hard now that you're so relaxed to perform this simple action. But draw your right knee in. And start to twist your right knee across your body. Your right hip will come off the floor. And if you can, go ahead and bring your right knee all the way down to the floor. And if you're a little too tight or too stiff in your spine, you can put a pillow underneath your knee to give you some more support. 
and eventually your knee will come all the way down. If your right shoulder is coming up off the floor, that's perfectly fine. Just open your right arm out to the side. And this will give you a nice stretch across your chest. You may find it helpful to place your left hand on top of your right knee. And just the weight of your hand can give you a little added stretch sensation. fast-paced, busy world. It can be scary sometimes to slow down this much. But taking this time to relax is so nourishing for your body. It's nourishing for your mind, and for your spirit. And oftentimes, we can get so busy and distracted by taking care of other people we forget to take this time to take care of ourselves. So go ahead and give yourself some credit. Give yourself some gratitude for using this time right now to slow down. you. And slowly and gently come back to center. Nice and easy. No rush. You can hug your right knee in again. Just feel the difference from one side to the other. Just observe and notice. And when you're ready, start to draw your left knee in towards your chest. Hug your left knee in. start to draw your left knee across to the right side. And 
You can always put a pillow underneath your knee if you need that extra support. And just twist as far as you can. And open your left arm out to the side. And breathe. Bring your right hand onto your left knee. For a little extra stretch as you twist. Again, nice and tight, squeeze. And release your leg down. And just take these next few moments to lay on the floor. yourself completely surrender to gravity. Let the weight of your body relax down to the earth. And let your thoughts disappear. And I'll just invite you to stay and relax here as long as you need as long as you want. And when you're ready to come up and roll over onto one side, just like we did in the beginning, and then use your hands push you all the way up. So I hope that you have enjoyed this little sequence of restorative yoga poses. And if you haven't already favorited this video, go ahead and do that so you can come back and relax with me again. Don't forget to subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel so you can get access to all my videos. And visit my website, jenhillman.com, to learn more about me and my practice. Thanks so much, Darlene, for joining me. And thank you. I hope you have a great, great day. See you next time.